Welcome back everyone to the Illinois Fighting Illini Dynasty here on NCAA 14 as this is the final regular season game of this season and also the final regular season game of this series. Illinois is going to be taking on the Perdon't, I'm sorry, Purdue Boilmakers who are 3-6 and six on the year on the cusp of missing a bowl. Illinois is number 3 ranked 10-1 and one on the year. They have already clinched their spot in the Big Ten Championship, but they need to win this game to keep their natty hopes alive. They want to win their second national championship in three seasons. This is a very interesting game for Eric Fisher, as Purdue was the other school he was considering on signing day before signing with Illinois, and he has a chance to break one of college football's best records in Purdue Stadium if he throws five passing touchdowns today, then he will break the most touchdowns in the history of college football record set just last season by former Alabama quarterback Jalen Hurts. Purdue's quarterback is redshirt junior Matt Chambers, who is a very solid player in Eric Fisher's recruiting class, and Illinois actually went after him a lot to be Eric Fisher's backup, but he ended up signing with Purdue, which was probably for his best benefit, as he would be buried on the bench otherwise. Illinois is going to do something different, and that's choose heads. They usually choose tails, because tails never fails, and it doesn't fail for Purdue as it does land on tails. Purdue really wanted to recruit Eric Fisher, and they didn't get him, and Eric Fisher is one of the best players in college football history, so they certainly missed out. As Quayshawn Wall started up the game with a nice reception of 14 it yards. His first and 10 at the Purdue to 44-yard line. As on first down, short pass for Shannon Hall. Hall trucks a defender and gets 12. About a minute into the game, and Illinois is already in the red zone. Very good start for one of the best offenses in all of college football. Hand off for Cedric Bailey, the backup running back. And he's going to get a nice touchdown of his own for 17 yards. And Illinois will take a quick lead. We have an EA Sports Studio update as number one Miami goes down to the Duke. Blue Devils, who are now 3-8. and eight. This is Illinois' chance to hop up in the rankings. Two other ranked teams lose in Nebraska and Florida State. So I find it funny that the two teams that help Illinois go up the rankings are Kansas and Duke. Two very good basketball schools, but not prestigious in football at all. And one of them I love, and the other one I hate, too. So that's kind of funny. It is second down and three for Matt Chambers. And the Boilmaker offense, as Purdue needs to in this game to stay alive in bowl eligibility, is Chambers. He's going to lose about five or six there. It is Doug White who gets credited with the tackle for a loss. One of the best defensive players in all of college football. Chris Wright pushed him back, so nice play by him. It is third down and nine after the pretty poor rush by Matt Chambers, losing six yards. As Chambers looking to pass it. He looks for McDaniel. McDaniel with a first down, not tackled, and he's brought down at around the 47-ish. Excellent play by Deshaun McDaniel, breaking multiple tackles. It is second down and 10 at the 29-yard line. As more in motion, Chambers hands it off for McDaniel. McDaniel with another nice play. McDaniels gets it in the red zone. It is third and goal for Purdue. They are two for two on third downs today. Or in this drive, as this drive's big plays have been on third down. Tight end in motion. Chambers over to Brandon Jordan. And he is just short. Tackled at the one-yard line. Fourth and goal. Interesting decision for Purdue. And Purdue is going to go for it. This is, I think this is the right call for Purdue. As Hall is in motion. Chambers looking to pass it. I don't know why, but I guess it worked out. As Steve Brooks wide open in the red zone for a Perdote touchdown. We have an EA Sports Studio update as number 9 Alabama loses to the unranked Texas A&M Aggies. Bama goes down to 7-4, not a great year for the Crimson Tide. And Texas A&M goes up to 8-3. It is 2nd and 10 for Illinois at about the 45-yard line. Fisher, the lone member of the backfield, 5 wide set. For Illinois, Fisher's going to get sacked for a loss of eight by Aaron Burks. Is that like the rip-off version of Aaron Burks? Burks over second quarter underway, and it's been pretty evenly matched so far as on third down. 
Third down was a saving grace last drive as Chambers will be sacked. It is Aaron Burns. No, Claude Slaughter, not Aaron Burns. Sorry, I'm, I'm dumb. As welcome to the slaughterhouse, Matt Chambers. Claude Slaughter of our red shirt junior. He's been very quiet the past few weeks. Gets Illinois sacked. will be starting their drive past the 50 at about the 49, maybe even the 48. As on first down, Fisher. He will look for an open Kyle Davis, and he gets inside the 25. Illinois is going to go for it here on 4th and 4 in the red zone. Interesting call on 2nd and 3rd down. Receivers drop passes on both of those plays, so you can tell they really want to get a touchdown, and they won't as Kyle Smith gets the deflection, and Illinois is going to be stopped. To a nice punt return by Melvin Washington and a few solid plays. Illinois is already in the red zone. They are one for two as they missed the fourth down conversion last drive. Fisher scrambling, looking for Kyle Bush, and he gets the touchdown. Last drive, he dropped a wide open touchdown, but he won't this time as Illinois will regain the lead. Illinois now has the lead here, and I don't expect Purdue to come back, but who knows? Purdue isn't awful as McDaniel on first down. He fumbles it, picked up by Ace Gables, and Gables will be shoved out of bounds at the 22. Yeah, I don't see Purdue coming back in this one. Illinois is going to be starting at the 22. Don't know who forced the fumble, but the true freshman safety, Ace Gables, who had two interceptions last week, recovered it as Fisher looking for Kyle Bush again, and Bush will get his second touchdown grab of the game. One play and a score. Just when it looked like this game might be close, Illinois did had a nice span of like a couple minutes where they just dominated as Chambers gets it to Hall. Hall is in the red zone. 224 left in the half. Both teams have all three timeouts. Purdue is one for one today in the red zone. With a touchdown, let's see if they can make that two for two. That certainly won't help as Barrett Ball, the true freshman, makes the play. It is third and inches at the two-yard line. Last time they were in somewhat of this scenario, they scored. Let's see if they can do it again, as Brandon Jordan will get in the end zone, and Purdue will make it a one-possession game. It is third down for Illinois. They are one for three on third down. If they convert this play, then I would not be surprised if they score a touchdown on this drive, as Quayshawn Law is wide open, and Law will get the first down indeed, getting 16. Fourth and five at the Illinois 39, and they're going to go for it. Really weird call by Lovey Smith. Let's see if it works. Fisher scrambling. He will get the first down. Lovey Smith's gutsy call works. 24 seconds left in the half. Illinois is a little bit past midfield, and they have two timeouts left. As on first or second down, sorry. Fisher scrambling. Doesn't know what to do with it, and he's gonna be sacked. Third and 15. Second half underway. Purdue has played very solid. Only down by seven. And they are starting with the ball here in the half. As Matt Chambers looking to pass it. He'll get it to Hall. Hall breaks a tackle. There goes Hall. Pass midfield. Gets to the 46. It is third and eight for Purdue. They are fourth or seven on third downs. Which I believe is around maybe 62%. As what a catch by Steve Brooks. It looks like the ball was going to hit the ground, but it didn't. Even though Illinois' offense did score 21 points in the first half, their offense didn't really look like themselves. As on first down, Fisher, he will be sacked for a loss of eight. It is Aaron Burks with his second of the It game. is third down and 18 for Illinois, as Purdue is definitely starting to gain more momentum. Fisher looking to pass it. Doesn't know what to do with it. So he's going to scramble. He's going to look down the field for a wide open Kyle Bush. And Bush gets it inside the 15. Excellent play by Fisher. He took his time and Kyle Bush got wide open. It is first and goal for one. Fisher is the only person in the Illinois backfield. A little strange and it doesn't work at all as Fisher will be sacked. It is Anthony still a five wide out set. For Illinois, no Darius Shrub, no Cedric Bailey, no nobody. As TJ Miller, the redshirt freshman with the score. Eric Fisher is one touchdown away from Tyner, the record, and two away from breaking it. Watch out, Jalen Hurts. 
because he's coming. Yeah. Another EA Sports Studio update as number five Ohio State currently losing to the Indiana Hoosiers by a score of seven nothing. Let's see if Illinois can or not Illinois Indiana can get the big upset. Whose offense has played all right considering they're playing one of the better defenses in college. Third and seven. This is pretty much the game I'd say is if they don't get it, then they're not in a good situation. And they don't get it. It's Doug White, the sophomore, with the sack. It is third down and six for Illinois. They are four for eight, fifty percent on third down. As Fisher scrambling, looking for law. What a grab! And he gets ten. One-handed snag for Quayshawn Law. It is third down and twelve for Illinois after two one negative one-yard rushes by Darius Shrub. Fisher, trying to stay calm and composed, but he's still going to scramble with it anyway. He's going to look deep for a wide open Daniel Barnes. He gets tackled in the end zone. Very much like the Kyle Bush play earlier. Works with Daniel Barnes, and Eric Fisher has tied Jalen Hurts' record with 420 left in the game. 420 blazes. First down and eight. After a clipping penalty, you don't see first and eight very often, but what you do see very often is an Illinois sack. It is Doug White with his second of the it game. Is fourth and nine, and Purdue is going to go for it. They are one for one today on fourth downs, which was the their first touchdown of the game. Chambers under a lot of pressure, and he's going to be sacked by Matt Fox, the nickel corner, and that just about does it. Illinois is still not done this game, as they want Eric Fisher to break that record. He has tied it, but tying it isn't enough. Nice run from Shrub getting 17. Pretty quiet game overall for Shrub, though. It is second and goal at about the one and a half yard line as Eric Fisher is a few seconds away from potentially breaking that record. Fisher looking, gets it to Ryan Bass. Illinois scores, and Eric Fisher has now thrown more. Why is he sitting on the bench? But he has now thrown more touchdowns than anyone. And the history of college football at 163. We have an EA Sports Studio update for you folks as Indiana has extended their lead against the Buckeyes 21-10. to Interesting game. Might want to hop onto that now since Eric Fisher broke the record and Illinois locked up this a win. This game is over and Purdue, they played okay, but Illinois was able to get the 42-17 win and Eric Fisher has now thrown more touchdowns than anyone in the history of college football. Hey, hey, man!